Children's work is central to our programme here at Saddlers Wells. We offer a programme across the whole year and we like to use all of our different venues, but also there's lots of wraparound activities like workshops, which actually helps put the work in context for young people who are coming to the theatre, perhaps for the first time. We always look for the best quality in our adult productions and we would do the same for our children's productions. So, for example, we would work with some of our associate artists. We work with Akram Khan for his adult show, Desh, but we've been working with him to present a children's version of Desh called Choto Desh. And the quality is no less, it's just adapted for a younger audience. There are amazing things happening in uh, theatre throughout, actually, for, for young audiences. Um, you know, people are making shows for babies, you know, a few months old to young teenagers. And that spectrum is, it's, it's so exciting, there's a lot going on. Maybe with an adult audience, they might be more forgiving, whereas with a young audience, um, every little beat counts. All your production values and every all your values that you put into your work have to be, I think, is heightened even slightly more for a young audience because uh, they are the creators of the future. So it's those experiences that are going to inject them with the inspiration that you want them to have. <laughs> show a lot. It's extremely enjoyably awesome. <laughs> you get really excited wondering what's going to happen. We wanted to stay and watch it again. It's absolutely brilliant. It was very artistic and there was a lot of drama in it. We know the reputation for Sadler's Wells and we really enjoyed it. It was great. They didn't fail to uh, exceed our expectations. The activities around uh, around the, the show were amazing. We had a fabulous time. We got here at about 11 o'clock for the family dance workshop prior to the show. My six-year-old really enjoyed that aspect of it, being able to express himself first of all and then going into the theatre and, and recognising things that we've learned. There's lots of dance things going on that maybe boys don't go to or don't feel comfortable going to and, and here there's been plenty of boys so it's, it's really sort of all-encompassing, everyone's welcome. I think accessibility is really important when you're offering a young person's programme and we as a theatre try to make it as easy as possible for families to come in. So there's places to leave the buggies, a menu that's child-friendly at the restaurant. We try to schedule the programme at times of day that are useful for parents like in the morning which means they can bring more members of the family. So that's important for us to make the work accessible but also the theatre accessible to, to newcomers. I think that children absolutely deserve the best possible work. They have a right to a really rich creative life and actually um, in a really fast changing world one of the things that we really need is uh, people who can use their imaginations and there is nothing like taking a child to the theatre for seeing their imaginations being completely inspired. I've recently just got into dance and I've started a few dance classes and then my mum said it might be a good opportunity to come this Easter. So we came and it's really inspired me a lot more. I think there's some terrifically interesting work being made for children, but the best work isn't just as good as some of the best work for adults it actually surpasses it. It is some of the best work that is being made by theatre makers in this country at the moment.